Hey everybody, Andy here, I came on totally over here for round five of the Vintage Challenge, and we're playing against Hogakvine here. I think that's a pretty good hint. Um, we did not win the die roll, which is unfortunate, but um, that said, we would just hope that they don't actually go off on us this turn. Would have been a lot better if we were on the play here versus the draw, but we're going to keep this one. Or presumably this is Hogakvine. Yes. Uh, as I say, this is a noted old back by player. I do like our hand. We've got a force of will. We've got a brainstorm. We've got a, you know, the ability to cast a turn one death right and strip mine. So pretty good. Now, of course, this does not become good if they go off with their, you know, uh, bent vines and hollow ones. We need them to have a conservative turn one for us, um, which is asking a lot, but. So we could be face. Okay, I thought that was a Benjamin in the yard. If this is just a, a root wall that's coming down, hopefully we're not facing a hollow one. I probably will force a hollow one. Okay. Well, the question is, is do they have a bizarre? That's a really bad draw. So hopefully they don't have a second bazaar because if they don't, I feel like we're in really strong position. Although they likely do would be my guess. We need to be cognizant of Hogak as well. Okay. Isn't that neat how Deathrite Shaman just stonewalled Basking Root Wall? Um, I feel like we brainstorm here. I'm going to attempt to take their bazaar away. So what are we looking to get? Blue. We're going to try and brainstorm here. So we do not want Force of Vigor. I don't know if we need all these lands. I mean, there's a moderate chance that they've got... Uh, What are the chances that they're holding a second bazaar? I think it's reasonably low. I'm going to get put the strip mine on top here. And I'm going to... I, I think I might actually get rid of the basking Rupala. Get a black source. And the reason I'm doing this... Actually, I probably don't need to do it right this second, right? Like, I guess if they bizarre, I, I'm just thinking about Hogak, but I actually have an answer to Hogak because this goes and gets uh, a Dryad Arbor. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna kill this thing. There's no reason not to. I, I, we just really want to keep them off of Hogak, and if they decide that they, if they decide that they want to 
you know, wasteland me or whatever, I think that's totally fine. I'm gonna feel a little bit bad if they've got, if they have another bazaar. They're thinking about force of vigoring my mocks here. They did not. They did not go and get a dryad arbor. A little bit awkward here because I can't daze if they wasteland me, but is what it is. Yeah. They're going to cycle. They're going to attempt to cycle a hollow one right here. It's usually better end of turn. Death right shaman. How much do I care about death right shaman? Not really a lot. I prefer them not to do that though. Maybe I just do force this here. Yeah, I'm gonna force it. I don't think they have a bazaar here. So they're gonna come after my land. Maybe not. I'd be very surprised if they didn't, but uh, maybe they know what they're doing. Okay, so I'm going to go and I'm going to ponder here, see what we can find. Um, I don't think really any of these are any good. I don't really want any of those. Shuffle that. This direction feels bad, man. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. The fact that they didn't wasteland, what does that mean? Maybe they're just going to cast into it now. I'm, I'm in a lot of trouble now if they if they get a whole guy. Once upon a time. Yeah, that is a card. That would be a reason not to do that, wouldn't it? Let's see what they find. We're just trying to dodge Bazaar here. That makes sense. Because when you only have one blue source up on the table, uh, with two cards left in hand, your opponent typically is going to be very aggressive in these types of decks to wasteland you. So I just missed what they were trying to do. I knew that there was something up. I just couldn't put my finger on it. STP. Um, got the green source. I, I think I'm just going to start. Uh, I mean, I guess I can gain life, but I'm not sure I want to get another black source here. That's a thing. All right, I think I do get a black source here. And the reason is, is that they have the Wasteland. I, I want to start dealing damage where I can. I'm kind of in an awkward spot here. I, I am going to need some help. Well, that's a good one. Guess we just get an Ancestral Recall, right? Yeah, I feel like recall is just our best chance here. Let's hope it works. And it did. Okay. Phew. Hmm. 
blue. Are they thinking about not survival? No. Blue, green, red. Okay. So they, they have Force of Vigor now, and they can take my mocks, and I think that's fine. Um, do I want to just turn one of my mocks into an elk? They can just do it in response, so I'm just going to do this. And now if they play a creature this way, I can just uh, steal it if I feel like I need to. Yeah, Bloodcast is good. Um, see if they figure here in response. I mean, there's no doubt they're sitting on it, so it's just a matter of whether they actually want to do it or not. So they got the vigor. So what I'm going to actually do here is I'm going to float a green and I'm going to float a black. And what I'm going to do is, this is fine. Let that happen. And I'm just going to shoot this thing down right now. And I'm going to um, just eat it. There we go. And obviously our, our shields are down here for a turn, but I think that's okay. Yep, yeah, well, you got it. It's a really good draw, actually. I'm gonna exchange control of this artifact. And that root walla, and I'm going to cast a, and what do we got here in the yard? That's problematic. I don't really think anything. So I can sit back here. I can want attack. Okay. They're in a wasteland here. They're just going to gain two life, three life. Life, yeah. Okay. Got another one there, that's fine. Let's draw a couple cards. I think Mox is good. Um, and let's beat down. Um, this is a situation where, actually, I don't know that I want to actually beat for three damage here. I don't think I need to. Um, the reason being is I really do want to hold up my death rate shaman to have the ability to actually counter, um, you know, if they do draw a bizarre, yeah, this is fine. So there's a hard cast Vengevine here that we're looking at. Uh, yeah, and this is fine. I think we, we counter this. All right, one, two, three, four. So let's take a land out of my yard. Make up blue.
See if we can counter that. We'll untap and we'll eat it. Uh, I like all of these, to be honest with you. I don't think we need to get super aggressive, though. Uh, I'm just going to eat the Vengevine right now. There's no reason not to. Um, yeah, I mean, I may be being really conservative here with reference to how I'm approaching this game, but I feel like we're really well in control here. They've only got a couple cards in hand. I think they're very limited in what they can actually do against me here. Um, okay. And, you know, of course, we've got Force of Will here to back ourselves up with Flusterstorm. Flusterstorm's obviously not looking very good, but that's okay. Um, or we're, yeah, I mean. I can just kill them right here. Um, yeah, let's see. I think I'm going to force a vigor. There we go. So falling a little bit behind on time, I, I will say this, I've been playing really slowly today. Um, I, I've just been very methodical on what I'm doing and I fall into the tank and, um, you know, it, it's, uh, you're rewarded for those lines, but you also, when you fall behind, um, you get yourself into pressure situations. And if you watched my last round, uh, you will understand why that is not advisable. <laughs> um, you never want to get in those positions where you're rushing, and, and these are a, a little bit of a grindy matchup. So, okay, we want cages. Uh, I think we want wrap traps. So, we want surgicals. You know, you don't really want to overboard too much in these type of matchups, but I feel like abrupt decay is reasonably weak too. Um, Collector roof is not great. They have a couple mocks in their deck, but not a ton. I don't mind a fatal push. I feel like Hogak Vine, they do have STPs and stuff like that, but I feel like Flusterstorm may be just a little bit of a, a little bit more than what we're actually needing. I don't really mind a Force of Vigor, to be honest with you. Um, just as a catch-all for a couple Hollow Ones that might come down, because this deck can struggle against Hollow Ones that come right out of the gate. To be honest, I don't mind Liliani either to, to, to eat up some of their uh, piddly winks that they might have. It's actually not the worst. Let's see what we, we can do here. I mean, Oko is slow. I think Force of Negation is really poor against them. Brasborro can buy me time. Days can be okay. I like it more on the play than I like on the draw, though. I think we need to cut another two cards here. Um... I might be able to cut a Force of Vigor. I, I do like Force of Vigor, though. Um, I think Misdirection's pretty me. Actually, maybe that's okay for hitting an STP. Liliana's going to be a little hard on the draw, I think. I think the same goes for Oko. Although Oko can get me out of some really tough spots. Mental misstep is... Eh, it's all right. Let's try this out, guys. Yeah, 
that's a hand. I mean, this hand, it, when I say this is a hand, like, yeah, it's a solid hand for sure. Uh, no guarantee to hand like this is going to win against Hollow Line or Hogak Vine. Like, they could just go off right here. I mean, we're going to stop their graveyard, but, you know, Hollow Ones are really what this hand's true vulnerability is. I won't hesitate twice to even snap that Ravenous Trap off. Actually, Ravenous Trap is not great against this, this type of deck. It's much better against the... the Squee, Kavorki, and Horror variants versus the, the, the grindy decks, but Deathrite Shaman is a good card here. It's going to ramp our mana. Unfortunately, they didn't mulligan. They're tanking pretty good here. Double Vengevine. Well, I kind of just, to be honest with you, really just want to snap this off. I don't know that it's going to get a whole lot better than this. So um, let's just get rid of that. Let's see how many they've got, if at all. Okay. Yep, you got it. That should play. Okay. They do have Wasteland. Okay, well, that's going to seal that. We're going to go and get a, uh, a basic green forest here. Cast a... Deathrite Shaman, and hopefully my Deathrite Shamans can take me all the way. We do have a Demonic Tutor here. Um, I was just going to say, we could go get Surgical for Bazaar, but it looks like we might actually be running into a Hogak this turn. We'll see. Hmm. Okay. This could be a Hogak. Let's see. Can we fade the Hogak here? Hmm. It can cast Hogak. All right, what are we going to do here? This is slightly problematic. So they're all in here. Tabernacle does not do it, unfortunately. I feel like we need to time walk. Hope to find a, a land and a uh, blue source. Yeah, I, I hate to do it, but that's what we're doing. Not ideal, guys, but that's the world we're living in. We did not find another land off the top, so we got to get one here. Okay, that is helpful. That is most definitely helpful, getting rid of that bazaar. 
The other option is I get rid of the wasteland. I get rid of the wasteland and I can go and get a tabernacle. I can't do that this turn. They have zero cards in hand. Like, how do I stop? I, I, Tarm of Wife is going to get pretty big here. He's going to be able to stop this. Like, I think the Bazaar is the card that is the scariest here. I could Surgical the Bazaar away. Maybe I get rid of the Bazaar. And then kill the Death Rite. If I kill the Death Rite, like, I'm under a fair bit of pressure here. If I kill this death right, right now, and then I wasteland, their wasteland. That means they can pay for hollow one. That's our line. This is not ideal, but we're going to get rid of their wasteland. I'm going to cast a cage. So let's do that. Yep, this is the line. Okay. And that way where Tabernacle could be effective. And I think I'd get another death right here, right? I mean, cage could be decent. But I, I think we've just got to gamble on finding as much land as we possibly can here. This is not ideal, but uh, I think this gives us our best out. And then that means we're only buying against a, a mox uh, or a hollow one if I can get rid of these. And I will be able to do that next turn. No, this is, you know, obviously we need our opponent not to find a land here or no wasteland or something like that, but um, that is my, my line as of now. And noted that Tarmogoyf is actually big enough right now to stop a hollow one. We are sitting at 18 life, now uh, soon to be 14. One card hit. They're obviously going to looking for a Hogak here. Did not find one. And this is going to turn off the Hogak line as well uh, as we stand right now. Ooh, that was a magnificent draw. Let me get rid of a wasteland here in our opponent's deck. We're going to go get a black, get a call black. We're going to demonic tutor. And we're going to go get a Tabernacle. Of note, Tabernacle is going to tax our own creature base. I, I did not think of that, which is reasonably awkward. But it just might be what we need to do here. I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to play the cage out. I don't see a reason not to. And a little bit awkward because I can't actually cast the Tarmogoyf. I guess, yeah, what I can do is I can actually pay for one of my my death rites, which will be the untapped one. That's what I'm going to do.
Hopefully we draw a land here. Oh, so huge. So huge. Okay, here we go. Um, I don't feel like I need to uh, sit back on this here. It doesn't do anything, so I'm just going to tack in. Makes sense. Just cannot get through my Tarmogoyf as we speak. Now, the question is, is if I actually end up using this, I've got a land, I've got a uh, creature, I've got a sorcery, and an instant. That's a 4-5, so it doesn't matter. I'm going to pay for both. Sadly, we can't do much here, but we're going to need to uh, draw some stuff. We're in a bit of a holding pattern. Um, I guess an abrupt decay could get rid of the Mox Emerald. We do have a Force of Vigor in our deck. We are going to need, we just need another land, uh, like blue or, blue or black producing land, like preferably a sea. Okay, that's not overly helpful, to be honest. Um, we can't attack because uh, we're going to lose that race. So, a bit of a precarious position here. Like, I was hoping that we'd be in a lot stronger position than we currently are right now. Um, we're not looking so good right at the moment. Um, another option is we do find a blue spell. We can misdirect a, a potential uh, Force of Vigor on my cage to their uh, Hollow One and Mox Emerald. So they're looking for land here. Yep. That sucks. Yeah, Death Ring Shaman. Yeah, geez, that's going to start eating away on my stuff here. Uh, not happy about that. Lotus. It's not overly helpful right at the moment, is it? No, it's not. Yep. So we're really gonna watch our time here. This is this is fairly key. Okay, guys, taking my uh, my bl my blue source here. That's awkward. Mm. Yep. All right, you got it. Here goes my death rate. Yeah, swords. Nothing I can do there. All right. Well, we are in a world of hurt here. 
Okay. Yeah. What can I do here? Just gonna die really quickly. I shouldn't have played that out. Okay. Force of Vigor would just be, uh, I was just about to say Force of Vigor would be so great off the top, but of course it's not now. So Tarmogoyf would be good here. Okay, that is actually something. Uh, cast a Death right here. Shouldn't have played that out. I guess, yeah, no, I have... Um, Misdirection. So a bit of an awkward spot here. This is uh, cleaning us up really quick. So hopefully my opponent STPs me. Just gets me. No. All right. Down to three. Leopold. That's not bad. I just died of the death right, though. I just die, right? Yeah, it's game. Okay. Really well played by my opponent. They've grown through that. I... I won't lie, I'm fairly surprised I lost that game. But Tabernacle is not an efficient way of fighting these guys. Okay, we got seven minutes. The problem in this matchup is just a really, really difficult grind, right? Like, it's just a long grind. I guess the other Force of Vigor may be worth bringing in here. And I feel for what Abrupt Decay does... Perhaps Fatal Push is just a better card. Yes, it doesn't hit Moxon, but... I just don't feel like Abrupt Decay does much in this matchup. I, I guess it hits like Deathrite Shamans, which may be okay. Maybe Brazen War is okay. I, I mean, I am on a reasonably quick clock here. I got seven minutes to close this out. I like Leovold, but he's not easy to cast in this matchup. Days is a lot better on the draw, or on the play, excuse me, than the draw. Keep. Okay, I'm going to go and get Forest and play a Deathrite Shaman here. I mean, there's a world where maybe I want to go Cage, but... I don't think so. Sets up a Leovold next turn. Look, 
could they absolutely explode on us here and and um, you know go crazy? Yeah, for sure they could. We still have the option demonic tutor and go find a tabernacle if we have to. Yeah, we need them to have a fair start, and if they do, that's that's best for us. You know, I, I relish the op the opportunity to get uh, a Leobold down into the root wall. Up. Okay, so we could be facing down a uh, an Alpha Strike here. whole gag could be rough. No Mox or Lotus, please. Unreal. They got it. Well, that turns that line off, doesn't it? Oko. Well, I, I think we got a Leobold here, so let's go and get a Leobold. Blue. blue. Black, green. Let's try that. Let's see how this works. Yes, we're under some pressure here. This shuts their bazaar off, which is pretty potent. If they wasteland us, we get a card back, which is good. Yes, we're under some pressure here, but hopefully they don't have another land here. I mean, obviously, I really want to be able to tabernacle what they're doing. Okay, here we go. So they are in for Holgak here. They're going to be doing... Okay, death right, yep. Yeah. I can get rid of that. Stitcher supplier. Hopefully they do not have another land here. Even if they do, we might be alright. I mean almost assuredly this is a Hogak coming down. The key is is for them not to play a land. If they do, we could be in some trouble. Here's the GAC. Hopefully they have a sense of security with the death right shaman here that they're going to be able to play for their GAC if a tabernacle comes down. Okay. Okay, we are going to get to wipe their board. Um,
They could negate this by uh, noxious revival. That is a line I did not think of. So they're surgicaling their stuff here. Yeah, that, that's pretty good, actually. Okay. The good news is, I mean, I can take a hit from, from Hogak. Not ideal, but this is the world we're living in. We just got to stay ahead on the clock here. They can pay for two of them. So... We, we can do the same thing next turn, perhaps, if we're a little bit lucky in that they don't find a land off the top here. Remember, they cannot use their bazaar. Take it. Okay. This is fine. Now he can't pay for his uh, Hogak. Okay, they got something. STP? Yep. Yep, your bazaars are live. I don't really care about this. I mean, if that's what he wants to pay with his mana, I think that's fine.
don't have to pay for this now. Um, I think I'm just going to cast another death rage. Actually, you know what? Uh, yeah, we'll cast another death rage on him here. Okay. I can counter a Hogak. Okay. Has to block here. Another tight game. My goodness, are we grinding today? <laughs> <laughs> 